Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're all the way up in chapter 4 now, verses 21 to 23 this morning. And so let's read that out. The Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you perform before Pharaoh all the wonders which I have put in your power. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. So I said to you, Let my son go, that he may serve me. But you have refused to let him go. Behold, I will kill your son, your firstborn. So God reminds Moses of the signs that he's given him to perform. He wants those signs performed in Pharaoh's sight. And then we come to this hardening the heart thing. And we're going to say more about that in, in times ahead. We'll have plenty of time to look at that with, with a lot more care uh, onward. But I want to look today more at this verse 22 and 23. There's something really interesting here uh, that, that we better address it right here while we're here in this spot. So God informs Pharaoh that Israel is his firstborn. This is what he's told to tell Pharaoh. Israel is my firstborn. Israel is my firstborn son. And then he's going to tell Pharaoh, let my son go that he may serve me or worship me. And this is, this is a familial relation. This, is a, this would be understood by everybody out there in, that, in those, that culture. God is really claiming that these people as a collective, the Hebrew people as a collective group, they are his they are equivalent to his son, and he expects Pharaoh to let him go. And then what do we have? Well, God makes the request to Pharaoh. I mean, this is, you know, God could say, look, I'm God, you're Pharaoh, let my, you know, let him go or else. And sort of he's going to do that, but really, instead, he makes it a request. Let my people go. I mean, God could have just come in and overpowered, but no, he's going to, he's, he's asking Pharaoh to let his people go. That's kind of an interesting piece of the approach here too, isn't it? And Pharaoh's not willing. He's not going to be willing to let his people go. Now, God also tells Pharaoh that since he's refused to let his people go and said he's kept them under hard labor and hard bondage, God tells Pharaoh, this is what Moses is to tell him, God is going to kill your firstborn son. And so this is kind of like the lex talionis, the kind of the, like the law of tooth for a tooth, eye for an eye. Uh, this is kind of like that, it seems like, going on, right? This kind of ancient law system where uh, a, a transgression evokes a, a proportional penalty. And so, like, if you kill my uh, cow, then I'll kill your cow, or you'll replace it with, with the other cow. So this is kind of the, the way things work here. And so God is telling Moses to tell Pharaoh, look, Israel's my people. You're, you've been messing with my people. That's, that's, not, that's not acceptable. You let my people go so that they can serve me. And since you haven't been, you, you're not letting them go, I'm going to kill your firstborn. That's kind of, you know, an eye for the eye kind of a thing. This picture is a very interesting piece that's going on here. A lot of people are surprised when we come to this text. Like, what, you know, at the very beginning, at the very beginning of this, Pharaoh was warned that, that his firstborn might be killed. Well, let's watch and see what happens in chapter 5. We're getting close to it here now, where Moses will actually... Uh, come to Pharaoh, and let's, we'll see exactly what he says. But here's what God tells Moses to tell Pharaoh. God tells Pharaoh ahead of time, hey, the stakes are like really high here. This is about your firstborn son. This is like about the heir to the throne of Egypt. And so you have God's people collectively are his son, and the firstborn, uh, uh, they're his firstborn. And then Pharaoh, Pharaoh here kind of stands for all of Egypt as well. All the firstborn of Egypt are encompassed in the penalty that God's going to put onto Pharaoh. You don't let my people go, all your firstborn are going to die. So there's a lot at stake here. There's a lot riding on this. And, and right from the beginning, Moses is instructed to kind of let Pharaoh in on what's going on here. Make sure he knows how high the stakes are. Hey, Egypt has been crushing the people of God for generations, what do they expect God will do when God kind of enters the fray here? And it won't be just kind of. God has now embarked on delivering the people. Let's see what happens tomorrow.